Welcome to the fabulous Yas Marina circuit here in Abu Dhabi, the location for this year's Young Driver Test. Over the next two days, we'll go behind the scenes as we watch the teams put the next generation of potential Formula One drivers through a series of tests to uncover the next superstar. Ask any of the team principals whether outright speed is the sole requirement and they'll tell you that consistency, feedback and attitude are equally important. Still a few record times wouldn't hurt a driver's chances of securing a seat for next season. And right on cue, the first engine of the day has fired into life right below my comp. Hello and welcome to the fabulous Yas Marina circuit here in Abu Dhabi. The location for this year's Young Driver Test. Over the next two days, we'll go behind the scenes as we watch the teams put the next generation of potential Formula One drivers through a series of tests to uncover the next superstar. Ask any of the team principals whether outright speed is the sole requirement and they'll tell you that consistency, feedback and attitude are equally important. Still a few record times wouldn't hurt a driver's chances of securing a seat for next season. And right on cue, the first engine of the day has fired into life right below my commentary box. So I think we'll soon see a car out on track. Hey, good to see you again. As your race engineer, it's my job to support you this weekend. When you're out on track, we'll remain in contact via radio. I'll feed you information as and when you need it. As discussed in the team briefing, we're not looking for outright speed to begin with, so just take your time. Follow my instructions and you'll do great. I'll just check the lads are ready. We'll attach comms when you're in the car. Okay, let's get you strapped in. Modern Formula One cars have around 750 brake horsepower being sent to the rear wheels. The delivery can be very violent, so you must be careful to be smooth and precise with all your inputs so that you don't unsettle the car and cause a spin. At speed, the car's aerodynamics generate a lot of downforce, forcing the car to the track. To work efficiently with downforce, you should put a lot of force into the brake pedal initially, slowly reducing the pressure as they turn in for the corner, as you'll have less grip at this stage and be asking the tyres to work harder. When navigating a corner, stay as wide as possible before sweeping in to clip the corner's apex, taking as straight a line as possible. This allows you to get on the accelerator earlier and straighten up the car on the exit of the corner, slowly increasing the pressure on the accelerator as you exit the corner until you're confident the rear wheels will no longer spin, at which point you can use full power. We're ready. For this test, we need you to accelerate towards the hairpin, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex, and accelerate past 297 kph out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test.
Kurs delivers an additional 80 brake horsepower to the rear wheels at the press of a button. It can be used in short bursts or all at once for around 7 seconds per lap. Kurs can be used at any time in any session and can be used for overtaking or defending. Deploying Kurs in the low gears gives the best return and can pay off greatly when used at the start. The Kurs charge will automatically refill every lap but the Kurs system can at times develop faults. However, these can be fixed while the driver is still out on track. DRS adjusts the angle of the rear wing, which reduces drag and gives around 10 to 12 km per hour extra top speed. It can only be used in defined activation points during the race when you're within one second of the car in front. It can be used whenever the driver wants in practice or qualifying, but only when dry tyres are fitted. And that's the end of day one of the Young Drivers Test here at Abu Dhabi. Join us tomorrow for day two. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're feeling refreshed as we've got some more tests for you to run through today. Let me know when you're ready to start today's programme and we'll get you out on track. to manage your career and view information about the season. Let's take a look around. At the bottom of the screen is the hub menu. Navigating to each option will automatically update the screen. When an option needs your attention, you'll notice an icon appear above it on the menu. There are three sections in the middle of the screen. On the far right, we have the season standings table. To the left, we have two driver cards. These show a summary of how well you're currently doing within the season and importantly against your rival. Remember, beat him and you'll have the option to take his drive. The email system provides you with key information throughout the season, so it's important to check here regularly. I'm sure you want to take a look around on your own, but be sure to read your email as key people will send you important information about the weekend's events. you to manage your career and view information about the season. Let's take a look around. This is the hub menu. As you move through the menu, the screen will update automatically. If an option needs your attention, an icon will appear above it. At the top of the screen is the race calendar. You'll notice that some races have icons associated with them. These indicate that something special will happen at that weekend. You can view a guide to each circuit by selecting it in the calendar and pressing to view more information. But be sure to read your email as key people will send you important information about the weekend's events.
been selected as your rival. season starts here at the Autodromo di Monza circuit in northern Italy. Let's see which of our rivals can bring home an early advantage. It's race time. 